It was a wild place. I remember uh, I used to work for a big website in Philly, a big dot com, where I was the only person of color on staff. This was in 2016. I don't even know how they did that shit. I started to get suspicious. Are there two LinkedIn's? Do I need a, a promo code or a, an invite? <laughs> Sometimes on my break, I would just run down the halls and burst into random offices. Like, really? <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> Was gone for a few days, came back, found an Indian guy in another department. I got hyped as shit. <laughs> Soon as I seen him, I couldn't control myself. I just ran right up to him, like, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> we in this bitch. <laughs> We are in this motherfucker. Can I hear it? Can I hear it? He was like, calm down, my friend. <laughs> I'm very excited as well. <laughs> he said, I'm trying to keep this job. <laughs> it's a very smart man. Very smart man. But still, it bothered me for a while. It bothered me working at a company, being the only person of color, until I realized that I basically didn't need to worry about doing my hair anymore. Because, see, non-minorities can't really tell the difference. They're not really sure. I mean, my hair could be crazy. It could be huge, just a ridiculous shape, all types of debris. Just an old ass Starbucks receipt, just crumpled up. <laughs> stuck up in the back. And I'm telling you, I can sit at my desk and just wait for compliments. <laughs> oh, Chanel, I see you changed up your. Uh... <laughs> you got the new. Uh... <laughs> when did that come out? <laughs> I'm like, hey, back up, Gladys. <laughs> you don't want it with me today.